Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Roger Skakasungura YouTube channel. And uh, I will never tire to say thank you for those who are supporting us. If you're watching this video, kindly make sure you click that subscribe button and remember to turn on your notification bell so that you are able to get notifications as we upload our videos, ladies and gentlemen. As we speak, the case in court is in progress. And um, the lawyers are currently engaging the judges to see uh, and to determine if the election was credible, fair, and transparent. Yesterday, the courts ordered IEBC to give Azimio and other interested parties who requested access to the IEBC servers. There's a difference between a portal and a server. A server is a program that manages the backend of the whole system which was being used kwa kwa sabu kura na transmit matokeo unajua wakati jebukati alitangaza matokeo alisimama katika vyombo vya habari na akasema kwamba matokeo ninayoyatangaza hapa yapo wazi katika server za IEBC our president elect Dr. William Ruto naye amekuwa akitembea katika mkutano akiambia wa Kenya kwamba Chebukati amefanya uchaguzi wa haki na uwazi. Matokeo yote tumeyaweka katika sava, mengine yapo katika poto unachohitaji tu ni calculator uende nayo ufunguliwe sava, ufanye hesabu yako uone kama matokeo yapo sawa. Ndio the Kenyans wengine wakaona kwamba ah kweli kumbe this is how transparent these things were. Unakumbuka mwaka 2017 wakati Raila Odinga pia aliweka kesi ya kubatilisha matokeo. Mahakama makuu wakati huo ilikuwa inaongozwa na jaji mkuu CJ Maraga wakapeana agizo kwa Chebukati kwamba afungulie Raila Odinga servers ili ifanyiwe forensic scrutiny waangalie iwapo kuna watu walipewa false access waangalie kama kuna watu walikuwa na passwords waangalie kama kuna manipulation ilifanywa wakati wa transmission and they refused Orengo came in court and said they have refused to do it and in fact they refused I remember by then the lawyer who was defending IBC alisema kwamba servers zao zilikuwa I don't know zilikuwa inchi gani ile there's a country they said that the servers were there and it was impossible for Jebukati to travel because of the time limited to go and open the server for Raila Odinga The same same thing is happening today in the first session uh, towards the starting of the second session at 2 o'clock James Orengo notified the court that as we speak your honorable ladies and uh, and and uh, and honorable um, judges the IBC has declined to grant us access to the IBC servers Lakini walisema kwamba hapo mwanzo wamekuwa kisema kwamba safa iko wazi kila kitu iko wazi na kila mkenya anakubaliwa kwenda kuingia kwa saba kwa sababu uchaguzi uliofanyika ni wa wazi haki na ukweli Na tunapozungumza sasa The orders that were given by the Supreme Court have not been honored by the IBC. I am told that the IBC staff who manages the servers have said they won't grant access without authority from Chebukati. Na Chebukati amesema mimi sifungui server. Now we are asking some solid questions from this platform and I believe the lawyers will be raising the same concerns in court. 
The judges have told James Orengo that let's give them time until tomorrow morning and see the progress. If they shall have declined to abide by the orders, then we'll come here again to consult. So they've been given time up to tomorrow morning. But ladies and gentlemen, if the IBC is 100% that they carried out a transparent and credible election, why are they limiting or refusing to grant access to Azimio and the other interested parties who did an application to the Supreme Court? If Chebukat is very sure that no one interfered with the transmission, why is he denying them access? You know, the Azimio team wanted to do a forensic analysis of the server to verify with the evidence they are presenting in court. Because the Azimio have accused IBC, specifically Chebkati, of refusing to share some information to the other commissioners. They have accused IBC through Jebukati of grant, granting unauthorized individuals access to the server during the time of transmission of results. It has been presented in court that the Venezuelans were physically disconnected from the IBC, but were digitally connected from a certain location. And the GPRS of that location shows that the IBC server was severally accessed from one location. Ladies and gentlemen, we are asking Chebukat from this honorable platform that if we know no one interfered with the passwords, no one manipulated the form, the original form that for is, no one manipulated the passwords, why is he refusing to grant full access to Azimio? Because Azimio were told you will be given access under supervision, which the Azimio agreed. But Chebukati has refused the orders. In 2017, the same, same hide and seek game was witnessed between the IBC and the court. Grant them access, servers go abroad. Limited time, Chebukati cannot travel. The same games are starting in the same, same petition that is seeking to nullify the presidential election on grounds that there were no accountability, there was no transparency, there was no accountability, accountability there was no uh, verifiability. Hi, this language. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chebukadi is trying to tell Kenyans that the Honorable Courts that he has something that is hiding. As he has been telling us, as the president-elect has been telling us, that the servers are open. Tafadhali fungweni server, ziangaliliwe, zifanyiwe uchunguzi, kama ekmunajua kweli, uchaguzi mulio fanya. Na matokeo yalio pitia kwa server, Yapo harari na waomba tafadhali mpeane agizo au mfuate agizo la mahakama la kufungua safa zenu ziangaliliwe lakini munapokata ni kutuonyesha kwamba kulikuwa na ukiritimba ulioendeshwa ndani ya mitandao yenu Munapo kataa gizo la mahakama ni kuonyesha wa Kenya kwamba kuna jambo munalotaka kulificha wa Tanzania wenzangu leo hii ni mamuani wazungu mzie kisohili. 
Siji kama Tanzania muna kuanga na sava. Uganda atuzungumzi. Uganda is a special case. We are not addressing Ugandans. Because th theirs is a special case. So we are engaging our friends in Tanzania. I don't know if you have a server Tanzanians. And if you have one, I don't know if you have ever witnessed he mchezo huu wapaka na panya huu unaendeshwa na chipkati huu. Wakati wa Kenya wanataka kujua ukweli ni kipi kilifanyika na matokeo na kura zao walizopiga. Ninaamini. Ninaamini kwamba kulingana na mwelekezo wa mahakama kwamba tungoje hadi hapo kesho asubuhi ninaamini kwamba chebukati na wafanyakazi wake watawakubalia wale ambao waliamuliwa na mahakama wapate kuangalia saba ili walete matokeo katika mahakama remember the recount of some polling stations is ongoing. And we are waiting a report tomorrow because they were given 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, we wish Kenyans all the best as they keep following the court proceedings. Keep at Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel because we will be giving you a breakdown of the case today, tomorrow, and the other day. Because the judges are supposed to take three days before they go to write down a verdict, which we expect that by 5th of September, they shall have given their verdict. And we know as Kenyans, the next way forward as far as the just concluded election is concerned. Keep sharing our content, keep subscribing, and keep watching. May the almighty God protect you and guide you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much.